Um, uh, everybody who don't know me, and my name is Joshua Montel Allen. Uh, I'm Mama's son. Uh, me and her had the honor of taking care of my uncle for the last eight years. And for the past week uh, since Sunday, I've heard just about every single solitary radio story. So I said, if I speak, what is there left to say? But then it hit me. I said, I live with this man. He was a different guy behind closed doors. Uh, <laughs> so I didn't live with radio. I lived with James. And James was an interesting man, let me tell you. So James, he, he, he was very smart. He was very quick with the, he didn't insult people, but he roasted people in the nicest way he possibly could. So you could never get mad at him. I remember there was one day me, Mama, and Cool Rock and Radio went to the Payless when Payless was down the street. And, uh, you know, there was a guy there, you know, he knew shoes. Uh, he, you know, he was really good with the shoes. And as we were walking out, he saw Radio. He said, hey, Radio, how you doing? And, you know, radio, you know, did this thing. And I said, Radio, what does that mean? He just said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, all right. And then there was another instance where we went to Ingalls. I took him and Kura to Ingalls to get something to eat because they love the plates there. And there was this hefty woman who came up to, you know, the deli to get something to eat. So, you know, he ordered his food. And then she said, hey, Radio. He turned around to look at her. And he says, ooh. And she said, <laughs> And she said, Radio, what does that mean? He said, exercise. <laughs> so, see, at the time, I thought it was funny until I was driving home, and then it hit me, and I said, oh boy, he's talking about big people now. <laughs> so that was one day. Uh, everybody was taking naps because at the house I don't take naps because I love to make sure everybody, you know, is settled, you know, make sure everything is running right. Mama was in her room taking a nap. Cool Rock was in his taking a nap. And Radio was sitting in the living room with his head down. So in my head, he sleep. That day I had on a red shirt and some blue jeans. So I'm, you know, walking around the house, make sure everything is, you know, all right. And I tiptoe past Radio because I'm thinking he's sleep. So as I'm walking past him, going back to my room, all I hear is, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and then he ended it with really saying, this is no lie. He said, it's Fat Albert. <laughs> I, <laughs> and it was one of them things where I couldn't even be mad. I, I honestly didn't know what to say after that. I just... <laughs> I tried to think of everything, but I just couldn't come up with anything. <laughs> and then night times were interesting at my house. Because, uh, you know, Mama had the morning shift. We, you know, had shifts at the house. Mama had the morning shift because she got up early for work. I had the night shifts because, you know, I'm a night owl a little bit. And um, I was in bed sleep. Three o'clock in the morning, all I hear at my door, boom, 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 jar, jar. I wake up, Who, what, 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 what's going on? I open the door, jar, what? Come change TV, I want to watch cartoon. <laughs> I said, radio, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Come on now, come change TV, I want to watch cartoon. <laughs> but uh, for, for the last few years, oh, one more story, one more. Anybody who knows radio knows that he loves to break wind. <laughs> but when he do it, he do it in the most confided space. No window, no door, no fan. And Honeycutt, when, we, when I used to go pick him up, I thought Honeycutt, I thought me and him were cool. He would come bring out radio from the school and get him to the car. He'll say, Josh, I got some bad news for you. And I said, oh boy, what happened? He said, radio ain't pooped uh, or, you know, he ain't passed gas in a long time. I said, Honeycutt, come on now. He said, well, hey, you know, I'm just letting you know. Radio, get in the car. We don't even get out here in the parking lot. I start smelling death, <laughs> literally, in my car. But not dead people, death. It, it'll knock you out. I'm, 
But I'm going to miss that, man. Every day was a new adventure. It was the same routine, but it was something new. Um, and he was very smart. He, uh, he loved, he's a God man. He loves praising God. I, I can't say that. He prayed for everybody, especially at night. At night, here's another nighttime story, and I'm done. I'm, I'm through. At nighttime, still three, it's something about three o'clock in the morning with him. I would be asleep because our rooms were not too far away from each other. I would be asleep, and all I'd be hearing is, ah, yes, sir, God is coming back. <sighs> and I'm like, what? is that, what, what, what is that? And then I hear it again, ah, God is coming back. I get up, because I'm thinking something wrong. I go in his room, well, because I don't want to be loud, because I know once he get up, he's up. I see him with his mo control in his hand like a microphone, screaming at God, coming back. And I said, well, Reverend Williams about to be out of a job if he knew. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to end it like this. Radio had the biggest heart. He loved everybody. He loved the students at Hannah. In fact, uh, in the last hours of his death, uh, before he passed, uh, we played him the, the, the Get Well video. And through that time, radio really wasn't moving. Um, but while we was playing that video, the minute he started hearing them kids, he started moving, trying to hear the video. So that really, you know, take that back to Hannah and let them know that he really, really loved the video. He loved the kids there. So I'm just, you know, everybody has said everything today. There's nothing else I can say except I'm going to miss this man. At the house, it's going to be, I'm going to have to get used to the quietness because radio loved to make noise. So before I, before I step back and let Mama talk, I want radio to hear how much y'all appreciated his existence. Wait a minute. Uh, because, you know, he loved, he would talk to everybody to death and would tell you his business. Like, you know, y'all known each other for years. So when I count to three, I know there's a lot of dignified people here with suits, but this is radio's day. And he loves to be loud. So if you ain't used to making noise, then you're just going to have to get used to it and make some noise. <laughs> So on the count of three, I want y'all to make the loudest noise so radio can hear it up in his mansion and let him know how much y'all appreciate him, all right? All right, one, two, three, let him hear right now. And, and all right, I'm done officially. I'm putting my phone in my pocket. <laughs>